In northwestern Ontario, along the Rainy River, lies the little town of Emo. But for residents Michael and Betty Scheibler, there's something unusual about this place. Something rare, something controversial and dangerous. Hello? Anybody home? But this is something very real. I don't believe this is happening. Animals started showing up. Deer, raccoons. Then out of the bush they came. Wild bears. Over the next eight years, as Michael opened his property, what began as a trickle became a flood. 60 bears a day would come out of the wild and into Michael's life. Come on, guys, come and get her. As the bears and Michael developed trust, he began to do the remarkable, maybe unthinkable. He began to feed the bears by hand. But this story is not what you expect. Bruised by tragedy, Michael's soul would plunge into a darkness that would steal his humanity and claw away at his dreams. We would secretively, quietly whisper in a corner, trying to come up with a plan of how we could kill them. That's why the sign here, I have the perfect zoo, people caged, wildlife free. But through an unexpected encounter with these bears, Michael would see a light that would shine in his darkness and lead him on a path to love and redemption. What is going on here? I got no training for this. Oh, there's one sitting right there. Hey, there we go. <laughs> so why does this happen to me? It's only a few days. A few days involved with an animal. From real productions and acclaimed documentarian Steve Grayson, with musical score by three-time Emmy Award winner Charles Dinler, comes a film that will take you on an unpredictable journey and a surprise encounter with the power of redemption. A heartwarming story of how wild animals taught one broken man to be human again. The Gentle Bear Man of emo.